Hello everyone, this is Jonathan Little. I'm here today with the 33rd week of WeeklyPokerHand.com. And today I'm going to be going over another hand from a $25,000 buy-in live tournament I played at Blagio. Um, this is a pretty cool hand. I, again, I don't have the results of the hand, as in like what my opponent shows up with. I still think it's a pretty cool spot and well worth discussion. So uh, I make it 525 from the cutoff. The button here is a older player that's had pretty good results. He's definitely one of the older guys you don't want to see at your table, which is not very often. There's probably like 20 good guys that are older than like 40 in the world that I do not want to see at my table, and this is one of them. Um, and the big blind calls. Also, he is a young British pro that plays very well. I don't like him at my table either, so <laughs> two pretty tough people. That being said, the small blind in this in this seat was a relatively unknown player that I th thought was going to be pretty soft, and I don't I don't really mind opening ten nine on the button. I think that's a pretty much a mandatory open. I think anything besides that raise would be pretty nitty. So on the flop, they check to me, and I like to bet eight hundred into the sixteen hundred into the, yeah into the sixteen hundred chip pot, and you know this is an okay bet. I, I don't really have a problem with it. the The one issue is is that if I bet here the button should be calling with a very wide range, something like, you know, any gut shot or better. And his plan should be to call the flop and then bet or raise the turn, depending on what I do. And that's going to make it really tough for me to win this hand. That's assuming the button is going to play, do that and play well and aggressively. So that is what happens. Let's go back to the flop. This recorder messes up sometimes. So I bet 800. The button does call. And seat 2 calls. So let's think about seat 2's range at this point. Whenever he cold calls, I think he's going to have some of those gut shots in his range, like, you know, 9-8, stuff like that, just trying to peel a good card so he can win a lot of chips. And I also think he's going to end up having an ace a lot of the time. But I don't really think he's going to have something like ace-6 or ace-10, so... I don't think his range is that incredibly strong. And then on the turn, something interesting happens. Player 2 leads into us for 2,500 into a 4,000 chip pot. So what does that mean? Um, well, I don't know for sure. I think it means he has... I think the only made, only made hand that makes sense here is exactly ace-5. And... I think he probably has a lot of draws, like 7-8 of diamonds, 9-7 of diamonds, 9-8 of diamonds, um, maybe king-queen, queen-jack, jack-10, or, or jack, king-queen, king-jack, or queen-jack of diamonds, something like that. So whenever he bets here, I really do think he has a lot of draws. So if that's the case, what should I do with a 10-9 with a player behind me? The problem here is that the player behind me could easily have an ace. And if he has an ace, he's just not going to fold. So I don't think I can really call here too often. Um, so, so should I raise? If I raise and my opponent calls, and then the river's a, you know, one of the bad cards, I obviously just lose the hand. And um, if it breaks off, if he checks, I'm not really going to get any value ever. So this is one of those spots where I don't really think we should make a play, even though I think my opponent's range is relatively face up. Um, of course he could be taking this line with something else, you know, who knows what. But I really do think the 10-9 is going to be good here a lot of the time. Maybe my opponent has, like, ace-queen and is leading it because he doesn't want to see a free turn or something like that. I guess that would make a little bit of sense, too. Uh, either way, it's a tough spot. So I like to fold in this situation, but if you have a little bit more courage than I do, you can certainly consider a raise to, like, 6,000 and then, um, you know, play the river straightforwardly. And this hand, we both fold and we just give the player the pot. So if you guys have any questions or comments at all, please feel free to let me know. This has been Jonathan Little for WeeklyPokerHand.com. Thanks for watching.